Therefore thou, my son, be comforted in grace that is in Christ Jesus, and what things thou hast heard of me by many witnesses, but take thou these to faithful men, which shall be able also to teach other men. Travail thou as a good knight of Christ Jesus. No man holding knighthood to God wrappeth himself with worldly needs, that he please to him to whom he hath proved himself. For he that fighteth in a battle shall not be crowned, but he fight lawfully. It behooveth an earth tiller to receive first of the fruits. Understand thou what things I say, for the Lord shall give to thee understanding in all things. Be thou mindful that the Lord Jesus Christ of the seed of David hath risen again from death after my gospel, in which I travail unto bonds as working evil. But the word of God is not bound. Therefore I suffer all things for the chosen, that also, that also they get the health that is in Christ Jesus with heavenly glory. A true word that if we be dead together, also we shall live together. We suffer, we shall reign together. If we suffer, we shall reign together. If we deny, he shall deny us. If we believe not, he dwelleth faithful. He may not deny himself. Teach thou these things, witnessing before God. Do not thou strive in words, for to nothing it is profitable, but to the subverting of men that hear. Busily keep to give thyself approved, praiseable workmen to God, without shame, right treating the word of truth. But eschew thou unholy and vain speeches, for why those profit much to unfaithfulness. And the word of them that creepeth as a canker, of whom Philetus is, and Hymen Hymenaeus, which fell down from the truth, saying that the rising again is now done. And they subverted the faith of some men. But the firm fundament of God standeth, having this mark. The Lord knoweth which be his, and each man that nameth the name of the Lord departeth from wickedness. But in a great house be not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of tree and of earth. And so some be into honor, and some into despot. Therefore, if any man cleanseth himself from these, he shall be a vessel hallowed into honor and profitable to the Lord, ready to all good work. And thou, desires of youth, and flee thou desires of youth, but follow thou right wiseness, faith, charity, peace, with them that inwardly call the Lord of a clean heart. And eschew thou foolish questions, and without knowing, witting that these engender chidings, but it behoveth the servant of the Lord to chide not, but to be mild to all men, able to teach, patient, with temperance, reproving them that again stand the truth, that some time God give to them repenting, that they know the truth, and, they, and that they rise again from the snares of the devil, of whom they be held prisoners at his will.